Hi Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. This is your 2020 yearly tower reading forecast with me, Chrissy, from Indestars by Chrissy.com. And on this video, we are going to be talking about the energies in place that can be expected to be happening for you for the upcoming year of 2020. And how this goes is that I basically picked one card that can represent the energies and manifestations for the for that said month so one for january february march and so on and this will give us a general overview and what you can expect anticipate and prepare for for the upcoming year so again this is just still a general reading so it may really not be very specific for you but it can really help us navigate the energies in place and I would advise that you go back to this video, you know, once we enter 2020, like at the middle or even at the end of 2020, just so you can, you know, see if this reading really has resonated with you or not. But um, yeah, the only way that I can really give you a more specific reading is that, you know, a private session wherein you can go through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. Now, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. Now, okay, we are starting off for January. We do have the Two of Swords, and this is a point of maybe taking a blind faith on something. It could be a situation that requires a lot of thinking. Also, just a um, heads up, I do believe that for those that are in the sign of Capricorn, this can be a year of wherein everything is up and down, you know. It may feel like you are moving forward with life and then suddenly something is happening right there wherein you feel that you are being stopped or being oppressed by someone or something. And then, you know, it's like a year of hard work and hard effort. But do know that the result is going to be paying off. And there's going to be some form of success and stability for you at the end of your venture. So this is not really something to be scared about. So just, um, you know, an early announcement right there. So you can choose to, to just quit the video because you already know what is the forecast all about for 2020. But um, yeah, that is the idea that I want to um, tell you guys ahead of time, basically. But um, yeah, let's get on again with the cards. The Two of Swords is a point of making decisions, but more on evaluating them, thinking about things. And maybe this could be a time wherein you want to get out of your mundane day-to-day -day life, wherein you just want to meditate, you want to be alone, and you, you need to, I kind of feel that this is really calling you to make decisions for yourself not because of the influence of other people around you, not because of what other people are going to tell you, not because it is what's popular or anything like that. But this is a point wherein you are going to be making decisions for yourself because that is what's best for you. That is what you think is the best decision that you can make. So that is really in focus over here. So a lot of mental activity, I would say, for the first month of the year. And as we go over to February, this could be an element of good news or could be a point wherein you might be taking action on, on something, moving forward into something, some form of venture. Maybe you are open to adventure. You are going to be traveling even. Or this can be... Um, some form of good news that is going to come for you. It could be earning some form of money as well. Um, some form of news that you might be anticipating or might be initiating all at the same time. So it's always a good card to have, the Six of Wands. As we go over to March though, we do have the Moon card. And like I said earlier, there is an element here we're in you're starting from something, you want to move forward, and then you enter some form of um, a phase wherein you need to step down again, or maybe you're feeling oppressed, feeling blocked, 
And then we have here the seven of wands where and you're pushing forward again and then something happens again. So there is a dynamic here for 2020 for those that are in sign of Capricorn we're in. Things go up and down, up and down, up and down. So there is a constant activity happening here, whether it's happening internally or external, external level. But yeah, the moon card can really make you emotional, can really make you um, reflective, make you think a lot of things. You might even be praying a lot during this time. I don't know, maybe you are undergoing something in your life. It could be something serious. It could be not. I mean, who knows, right? I just kind of feel that this is a, a very sensitive time for you guys. And this could be a time wherein you are desperate of insight and clarity in your life. That's, that is really something that you really, really want to have. You are looking forward into something and really hoping for some form of answers to come for you um, at this time. This could be, yeah, like I said earlier, very emotional. This can also be a situation wherein something is being shown to you you will be able to acknowledge something. It could be an event. It could be a certain person that comes into your life. It really depends. But because this is the moon, like the moon shows itself towards you. So it means that, you know, you will see something. You will notice something. You will realize something for better or worse. But for the mo most part, this could be a very sensitive time. So... It could be an emotional situation that can come up for the month of March. Now, as we go over to April, like I said, this is again, you know, taking action, moving forward with things, and really putting in the hard work. This is the Seven of Wands. So this is a situation that wherein you are struggling, but you're still hanging on. You are willing to take the not really the risk, but you're willing to to experience that hard work and effort to achieve something because when the seven of wands comes up, there is something that you want to achieve. And, you know, it is something that you need to do in a very continuous kind of way. It's like, it's like farming. <laughs> you don't just plant a seed and let it B, you need to nurture it and all that. So it has the same element here wherein you are working through something and you need to put in the hard work and hard effort. And even though things can be quite rocky, you need to balance yourself and stay grounded despite the disturbances that can show itself in this scenario. And do know that if you do stand your ground and push through this phase, you will be able to attain that success that you really, really want and that you are hoping for to achieve within the year, of course. As we go over to May, we do have this Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords, you know, I'm really focused more on the clouds of the image rather than the people around. So this can be a time we're in there could be some form of pessimism in the air or a situation wherein you could be, um, I would say there could be some form of dark thoughts or it could be a clarity from a dark situation that can be in place. This raises always a vibration wherein there is something about the past that you will come to realize that you will come. There is some form of culmination in relation to a past action that you may have done or someone may have done towards you. So number fives are always about disruptions, but disruptions and changes, there's always a thin line of positive and negative through it. So I kind of feel that this is a situation wherein there could be some form of happiness, like a blessing um, in disguise in a situation that you are going through for this month. Now for June, we have the Knight of Wands and this could be a sudden entrance of someone or a sudden news that can come into your life, very abrupt, very fiery in nature. 
I kind of feel that this could be something to do with your love life. Very highly possible something to do with a love life. Wherein someone comes along and bring optimism in the air, bring you harmony and, you know, just making you feel happy. It is a really nice change of pace because they kind of feel that it's something that you need you know you are encountering a lot of serious stuff a lot of mental kind of situation and this is a time we're in hey you deserve a break right you deserve to enjoy life have some form of zest in life and that is what this knight of wands is going to be bringing you now for july we do have the lover's card and this is the card of love relationship and choices as a whole so it could be a situation wherein you might um, need to reflect uh, or think about a certain relationship in your life maybe a decision needs to happen maybe is it a decision to pursue someone is it a decision to make a conclusion about a certain relationship that you have um, at that moment in time or I don't know, maybe this could be a certain fated meeting with someone in particular as well. Um, I kind of feel that, you know, whenever this card shows up, there is going to be choices that could be happening during that specific month. Or it's something that you are going to initiate or someone initiates towards you. And you will notice that. It is always a positive energy though. It makes me feel that you are feeling connected with someone all at the same time. And there is just, you know, some form of harmonious energy in the air. It could also be a situation wherein you might feel that answers are being shown to you and your prayers are being answered. You know, it doesn't matter if it's related to love, career, or in general, Overall, it has that form of energy thanks to this angel um, being shown in the image. So as we now enter August, we have the Nine of Swords. Now, it's very interesting that the August and September are um, having this cards of wherein someone is crying and someone is, you know, maybe going away. This can be a situation wherein for August, you might encounter a point of negativity, a point of isolation, a point of feeling lost, feeling miserable with a certain scenario. I don't know what that could be, but it might mean that Okay, I'm sorry guys for that interruption on the video. My camera just ran out of battery, so I'm sorry about that. Um, like I was saying, we do have the Nine of Swords in terms of the month of August. And very interesting that they are together. They have the t these two cards of feeling like someone is miserable, someone is going away. So there could be some form of darkness in your life. This could be a point wherein you could also be quite vulnerable um, from psychic attacks. So I would advise you guys to protect yourself very much because uh, contrary to what other people say or think, I believe that Capricorn people are very uh, sensitive and um, emotional in their own way. You know, it may not just be in the way that people know and people are aware of. And because, you know, I know astrology. I mean, I know that some of you guys are aware of astrology. And if you guys are aware of it, you will know that, you know, even though you can be a Capricorn, you might have a moon that a sensitive moon or you could have a lot of planets in the water signs those kinds of areas so that can really make you um, unstable as a whole and if that is the case then you know you know that you have your own sensitivity within you within your chart as well so um yeah 
not all Capricorns are made of stone. <laughs> so、um, that's what I really mean to say. So, like I said, this can also be a time wherein you don't want to go out. There could be some form of news that is causing you some form of misery. Or maybe you are just being so negative, you are unable to move forward. Or I really don't know what is happening for you, but it could be a very testing time. Like life is so challenging for you. And as we go over to September, though, even though that things are a bit better, it still has an element of, you know, trying to get by. Trying to, treat, trying to be okay with things. This can also be a situation wherein you might be trying to remove yourself from the public or even in a temporary kind of way. This can also be a situation wherein you might try to step down, even in relationships. You know, maybe you just don't want to engage with anyone or anything at all. I just kind of feel that these two months are very sensitive for you and can be very emotional for you. And also, we have the moon here. And if you have been listening to my other videos, you know that the way I do this reading is that I also connect the cards. Aside from taking one card per month, I do pick up the overall energies of the entire spread to give me an,、uh, like a channeling message. To the things I'm picking up. So, um yeah, I just kind of feel that there is that kind of situation here. You could be facing your fears during this time, which can be、um, liberating, but at the same time, it's not easy as well. So, um yeah, that could be something here. Also, I, I'm really focusing on this image wherein. We have like, it's like two moons all together, but I kind of feel that this could be, you know, a new moon or like an eclipse happening for you. I mean, it really depends, but、um, it has that energy. And if you guys don't know, new moons are always like a dark moon energy, and eclipses is new moons and eclipses. Are always sensitive time to people. So, um yeah, this just raised that vibration much more strongly. So, don't get me wrong though, I kind of feel that this is a point wherein maybe you are going to be making a decision. It is not easy, but it is necessary for you to move forward with your life and all of that. Now, as we go over to October, We have the world card. So, this can be a time of protection, a time of new beginnings, or you could be traveling the world. Or, this could be a situation wherein you are wiser now. You have learned from, you know, dabbling in with a lot of things, dabbling with a lot of people in your life. You have learned how to say no. Not as if you don't know how. I just kind of feel that, you know, the experience that you're having for 2020 has made you,、um, I would say, it has made you see the reality of how other people really think. And, you know, under a crisis situation, you get to see the real them,、uh, that kind of situation. And, Um, you have learned to、um, how not to engage with them and how to have a more healthy boundaries, whether you are single or in a relationship, whether it's about love, work, associates, and all of that. So,、um, yeah, there is a new beginning and there is a form of luck in your life. I'm really focusing on the reds over here, the red knots. So, There is really some form of goodness in store for you. And this can also be a situation wherein you are clearing out things、um, in your own field and in your own energy. 
and there is an element of protection and like you guys can see the image we're in within this circle you know the the background is a lot more clear not the same way with you know with things over here where there is a man there's an eagle and there are a lot of you know clouds that are more puffy and all that so it 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 has great tone to things, but within this circle, it's all clear. So there could be a sense of clarity that you are going to be receiving as well. Now, as we go over to November, there is a four of wands, and this is a happy time. This could be a celebration that can come. There is a harmonious energy in terms of your emotions, in terms of your family life, marriage life. Or relationships as well this can also be a situation wherein you know there is some form of stability now in your life it's like all the wars is over all the hard work and hard situations are finally done and you're now experiencing some form of happiness in you and in your life which is always a good thing as you can see we have these two people over here and you know saying hello those kinds of things or just you know having that happy times together i would say welcoming someone that is really possible but i really see this more of a yeah trying to welcome someone in your life with a positive mindset this can also be a situation where in you're just plain happy you know there is satisfaction in the air and as we go over to december finally we do have the hierophant card and this really sets the tone for you for 2021 because you know you can't you learn from everything the hierophant card is always um the wise person the wise counsel and I kind of feel that this is representing you, you know, after all of that struggle and after all of that messy situations, you're now having this card. So this can be a point wherein you have earned stability, you have gained success in life. There is something that at the end of the year can make you feel that, okay, what I have endured is not easy, but all I can say now is that everything was worth it. I made the effort. I encountered a lot. And now I am happy. I am contented with life. Maybe this is a form of marriage, like I said, especially together with the Four of Wands. This could be matrimony, definitely. You know, with someone. Um, this can also be, you know, like you have the answers of life. You are an old soul. And you could be, you know, just... It's like you know everything about being human, I would say. And this is always a very positive card. This can also be a situation wherein someone enters your life that can really teach you all about, you know... They can tell you all about information uh, that you need to know about your situation. They are a teacher that can give you some form of help and guidance into life. Maybe you are going to seek an astrologer even or a psychic person. I mean, that's not always the case, but it is possible. So uh, yeah, there is someone that you are going to be admiring at this time as well that can really... Um, fulfill the needs that is lacking within you whatever that is so um yeah and our advice card for the year for those of you capricorn people we do have the chariot card and this is like this is like the card of a train or a car or a bullet train or whatever you call that but basically the idea here is that this is all about moving forward and chart cards are all about moving forward, all about movement and travel. But the problem with chart cards is that when they 
take action to move forward, they don't seem to know how to stop. So, and that created creates a lot of accidents, a lot of uh, downfalls. So the advice here is to learn to focus on the reins, you know, focus on, you know, what they call the wheel of a car or something like that. You have the power to know how to navigate the energy. You, you know, you, you know, whatever, whatever happens to you for 2020, you know that, you know, if there are troubles, you can always shift um, the situation in an area where it can benefit you, those kinds of things. So you are the driver of your own life, basically, is what I'm saying here. And things that are positive are within your reach, you know. This is all about success and happiness and attaining something that you yourself should go for, you yourself should attain. And I believe that a lot of Capricorn people, you know, they are really driven, action driven, especially when they have a goal in mind. So it's not as if you needed this information anyway, but um, in case that you find yourself lost and you find yourself stuck in a situation, then I hope that this can prove to be helpful for you to give you that nudge, to give you that information that, hey, you can do this and know that this is a really positive time for you and you will be able to attain your goal because the chariot card is a card of success. But like, like I said, this success is going to come for you or something that you have to push forward and do. So um, yeah, we do have the number seven here. So um, if you guys know, um, sevens in tarot, like this one, it is a card of, you know, either being patient or all striving to work towards things that you are already working on. Like it's a continuous progress, continuous waiting, continuous progress to attain something, to achieve something, basically. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Capricorn people. I hope that this has given you insight and clarity to what is to come for you for the year of 2020. I did make this a more specific, sort of, and more um, descriptive on what is to come for you for the year of 2020. And it is my hopes, dreams, and desire that it can help you navigate the upcoming year ahead with ease and comfort as a whole to give you guys an, an idea so um yeah and if you guys want a more personal reading wherein i take a look into your own personal situation i do have that um on my website just go there to in the stars by chrissy.com or in the stars by chrissy.com slash services and you will be able to uh, check in what offers that i have for you guys for readings so and predictions so um yeah if you haven't subscribed yet please do so by hitting that subscribe button like share and don't forget to tick the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when i post videos like this one and i'll see you guys again next time